we're in the age of artificial intelligence and developments in the field are really moving at an incredible speed, propelling us into a future where humans will have absolutely no control over AI. That period is what is known as the singularity. Join me as we explore this world of incredible possibilities. In a previous video, we delved into the different stages of AI development, from single-purpose AI systems to the singularity, but we never truly looked at the implications the recent advancement in AI will have on the way we live. Well, here are the different levels of AI development and what each stage might mean in terms of intelligence for AI and the implications for humans. Single-purpose AI systems can also be described as artificial narrow intelligence. As much as this can lighten the burden on humans a bit, there's really nothing so spectacular when you compare it to what we have cooking today. This is the most common form of AI we interact with today. Think about your image and speech recognition software, which are just trained on performing very specific duties. ANI is designed to perform a single task, like voice recognition or recommendations on streaming services. It's not capable of understanding or learning in the same way that humans do, and it cannot generalize its knowledge to other tasks. They just remain stagnant until creators come up with an update or something to improve it. However, things get a lot more interesting when we look a little further at the AGI. Artificial general intelligence is a not-so-hypothetical type of AI that would have the ability to understand, learn, and perform any intellectual task a human can. By the projection of many, we're still far from achieving this, especially when you consider the many defects still being recorded with current AI models, which are expected to be our ticket towards AGI. Experts project that we'll be reaching AGI by the end of the decade, contrary to the popular opinion that AGI is still a long way off. Today, integrating AI in every aspect of our lives seem to be the goal of many AI researchers and developers. It's expected that there will be an in-between kind of stuff between AGI and the singularity. We're talking about ASI, or what many will call artificial superintelligence. ASI is still very much a hypothetical type of AI that would be way more intelligent than any human. ASI is not only capable of understanding and learning, but it's also capable of surpassing human creativity, problem solving, and decision making abilities. At this point, humans will basically have no need to work, and it's still expected that we have some kind of control over the machines, making them do our biddings, just that they won't need us to instruct or direct them anymore. In fact, they'll know more than you can ever imagine. Then from here, stepping into the singularity won't be much of a hassle. Machines will be responsible for all channels of distribution and most service centers, rendering some of the most efficient services ever known to man. The implications of this stage of AI development for humans are still being debated. There have been varied opinions on what it will turn out to be. At this stage, we might start seeing cyborgs. Humans will enhance their abilities with available AI technology. We're talking about changing the entire workings of things in the world. The crazy thing about the singularity is that actual humans, if there's any left, might start seeing the machines of this age as gods. By now, AI won't actually need humans to be able to replicate itself since it already has control of all the available resources available on the planet. In fact, we're looking at an advancement so powerful that machines of this age can harness the energy latent in the galaxy. These are ideas that are still very much theoretical and can maybe just be a fantasy at this age. However, harnessing the power of our stars can come with very dire consequences for humans. This is something we just can't imagine right now, but we might be in for events that will lead to events that will kill the planet and birth new ones. Chances are, we might have been the product of some civilization that became so advanced that they passed through a similar situation, hinting at an unending chain of civilizations rising and falling. Some experts believe that AI could have a positive impact on society by automating tasks and freeing up human time and creativity. The implications of AGI and ASI are even more uncertain. Some experts believe that AGI could usher in a new era of peace and prosperity as machines take over the most dangerous and tedious tasks. Others are concerned that AGI could pose an existential threat to humans if it becomes too powerful or decides that humans are a threat. Since the AI race started heating up in 2021, especially with the release of ChatGPT by OpenAI, experts have warned about the latent potential in these systems. 
And the most scary thing is, the creators might actually have no clue about these potentials that are there. For a better illustration of the issue, let's take a little step backward to the hide-and-seek AI agents that OpenAI used for the study of emergent abilities. OpenAI's hide-and-seek AI evaluation was a study targeted at the investigation of how artificial intelligence agents learn to play the game of hide-and-seek. And as basic as that might sound, it made some really shocking revelations about the capabilities of AI. This study found that AI agents that were trained to play against each other in a competitive environment learned to develop a variety of complex behaviors without any interference by human players. The hiders learned to hide, and the seekers also learned that their purpose was to hunt the other party. During the test, the AI agents learned to use objects in the environment as tools to help them hide or seek. For instance, the hiding team learned to stack boxes to create hiding places, or to use rocks to block the view of the seeker. In return, the seeker learned to use ramps and how to jump on and move around boxes to enable it to gain access to the hiders. In a shocking turn of events, the hiders were able to throw extra blocks that would have aided the seeker out of the play area, a feat that shouldn't even have been possible. The highlight of events here is that AI agents learn to cooperate with each other to achieve a common goal. For example, they learn to form teams to search for the hider or to share information about the hider's location. It also gives insight that we really don't know as much as we think we know about these systems. So it might be right to say that we're very much vulnerable to AI and might not be able to control its development. These findings were surprising to the researchers because they suggest that AI agents can learn to develop human-like behaviors even when they are not explicitly programmed to do so. The study also suggests that competition can be a powerful catalyst for learning in AI agents. The OpenAI Hide and Seek AI evaluation has important implications for the future of AI. It suggests that AI agents could be used to develop new technologies that are more intelligent and adaptable than anything that's currently possible. And as much as it also suggests that AI agents could be used to solve complex problems that are beyond the capabilities of humans, there's a whole different picture for the future of humans. However, the study also raises some concerns about the potential risks of AI. For example, if AI agents become too intelligent, they could pose a threat to humanity, which was the reason many experts considered it important to carefully consider the potential risks and benefits of AI before deploying it in real-world applications. It's important to remember that AI is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or bad. The way that AI is developed and used will have a profound impact on the future of humanity. It's up to us to ensure that AI is used for the benefit of all. Here are some of the ways people perceive some of these recent developments. As far as acceptability goes, ANI is definitely taking the lead at the moment. ANI is already being used in a variety of ways, from self-driving cars to medical diagnosis and other aspects of our daily lives. As ANI becomes more sophisticated, it's likely to have a greater impact on our lives. The fact that ANI could be used to automate tasks in the workplace, leading to better productivity and all, without endangering user data so much, makes it more acceptable to a wider audience. However, the limitation can be somewhat of a pain for performing other tasks. We're still kind of warming up to AGI. It would be a major breakthrough, and its implications for humans are difficult to predict. Some experts believe that AGI could lead to a utopian future where machines solve all of our problems, but for many, not so much. Many are concerned that AGI could lead to a dystopian future where machines enslave or destroy humanity, which will be much worse at the singularity where humans might cease to exist. ASI is even more speculative than AGI. We might get to this point, and we might not. It's possible that ASI could be benevolent and help us to solve some of the world's most pressing problems, with humans not having to lift a finger. However, it's also possible that ASI could be malevolent and pose an existential threat to humanity. And the transition to that point might be just what we've already described. Ultimately, the implications of AI for humans will depend on how we develop and use it. It's up to us to ensure that AI is developed in the safest way possible. Fixing cases of bias and hallucinations in current AI systems will be a great place to start. I hope you found this interesting. Stay tuned for more engaging videos about AI and related discussions.